Hello everyone, how are you all doing? It's Philip here for another video. This is a let's play video for Neon Noodles. Just got this game uh, from the publisher. Uh, the guy behind the marketing contacted me, asked me if I wanted to give it a try uh, because I liked similar tile, uh, style of games. So Patrick sent me an email and uh, I said, sure, why not? I can give it a try. It looks uh, interesting kind of games. Uh, Let's get right into it. Not much on the first thing. Level 1 Sliced Avocado. Welcome to Neon Noodles. Let's play by... Uh, start by playing an existing problem. So it's pretty much like learning to program. You have to program the robot to do specific stuff. So let's see how hard it is to get this. So apparently you have some controls here. I like to get stuff playing. And here is probably like the instructions that you give it. You go forward. You pick up avocado, you turn uh, a left twice, you go forward, you turn right, you do the action with the slicing, slicing twice apparently, and rotate and place the avocado there. So let's play and see what happens. Yeah, goes through the timeline, does all the actions. Oh, it's like lower the knife and then put the knife back. Okay, so the idea is that you have to automate the entire process and reach the goals that are here, apparently. Okay, so that seemed easy. Let's go over some basics, like recording a program. Move cursor to robot, open menu, start recording the program. Click highlight position to move robot to, so let's go here. Click avocado to put this avocado here. Click move out to highlight position. And put the avocado here. Return voting to starting position. Okay. And now you play it. And he delivers the avocado from one place to the other. So yeah, you pretty much go through the step that he's supposed to do. And at the same time, it gets recorded on uh, down there. Instant recipes. Move cursor to bottom robot. Okay. Uh, let's start recording. Uh to go here cut yeah you have to pick it up like that's the cutting station you have to drop the avocado and you have to pick it back up generate return to start instructions I didn't quite understand why it happened for both at the same time. Automatic and manual recipes. Play pre-recorded programs. Okay, so they failed to produce the requirements by reasons. And now I have to try to add it, try to fix it. Step forward, go for the program until, until the first asterisk. Uh, step forward is V, I guess. Oh, I need to wait. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, where do you where do you insert the wait? Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. here yeah because the recipe is there so this is what you have to do uh, you get the rice you move it to the boiling station you wait and then you pick it up uh, so he was forgetting to wait it's the queue okay verify by playing it okay so this is working the other one is not Click the in between two consecutive versions in the second program. Like you can click right here immediately. Okay. How do you add the asterisk though? Generic instructions by bumping into the cutting station. Okay. One, two. Okay, so this is pretty much the tutorial part where they explain to you how to do recipes. And I guess 
that's the main goal or the main loop of the program is to follow a recipe or try to set up uh, yeah let's create our first setup from scratch okay it's on a shrimp producer okay so I want this this is the cutting station this is the thing put the robot here I'll put the menu for robot I guess I need to click the kit again oh I can set a starting position and everything program manual recipe requires two generic actions to make the problem I should have four uh, I just, I think I just need to do this, pick it up, go here, slice it, pick it up again, and then drop it, and then go back to the starting place. Ooh, so what am I missing? Program the robot to peel the shrimp. Still, uh, probably only did it once. Let's play it and see what happens. Yeah, I need to do like more actions here. So here, like extra, extra, should that be enough? Okay, that seemed to work. Okay, so the main problem with this is that you have to figure out all this thing. This is pretty much all tutorial stuff before you actually get to the real meat of the thing. And I guess the real challenge here is like to make ever increasing programs to solve ever increasing difficulty of uh, recipes. Both ingredients to be placed in the boil station, but it's pretty much learning to program, which is interesting. Like you have a recipe and you need to set up your stuff to uh, program it. So let's try this with a random thing. I have to wait three and then I pick it up and then I put it here, I guess. Okay, so if the robot starts here, I go, uh, what? No, okay, so this is for moving the thing. Uh, I'm done placing. Did I forget to add something? That's the end, it, that like lists the stuff you did. So it should be fine. Okay, uh, uh, actually I want to make him face right first, so this, pick up this, go down, pick up this, go down, do this, uh, wait three times, one, two, three, and actually I think, oh, I need, I think I need to go here twice, yeah, so this is probably wrong. And then you pick it up, and then you deliver it here, and then you go back up, and you turn this way. So this would be properly, except I think I need to deliver this here first, and then go back. So, uh, but let's try to play this and see if it works. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's wrong. Um, so I want to pick this up, and I want to go all the way down. Put it here, then go up, and then I'm here. Okay, and uh, how do I delete this? Uh, F. Did that work? Cancel action returns to previous state. That probably didn't work. Let's play this step by step. Yeah, that's not what I want. Um... Can I delete all this? How do I delete all this? Not right click. Uh, how about, oh, there you go. Delete or backspace. Okay, so let's, from the top, step by step. That's this. Huh? He picks it up, goes down, places it there, goes back up, turns around, now we should pick this up, which is not doing. Should do this. And now I want to delete uh, what's afterwards. And from here, it goes down, turns around, puts it on the boiling thing, waits three seconds, picks it up, puts it there, goes back up. Okay, this should 
work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's working. Yeah, it's cute. I, li I like the, the concept of the game. It uh, teaches you how to program. Um, I don't know how intuitive this would be for a person who doesn't already know how to program. And yeah, you can probably optimize and things like that, which is fun uh, for some people. I don't really care. I want the next levels. Let's do some nigiri. We have the recipes here. Three different recipes. Holy crap. Um, so I need to do this to get the boiling water. I need to do this to get the cut fish. And then I mix both into a roll. I do some magic and then the nigiri happens so first thing placing stuff i guess we have uh, the thing here my robot starts here it's gonna pick this up it's gonna put it to boil over here uh, then he can wait and then it will be ready meanwhile down here we can have the fish the chopping board thingy and down here we have the roll and the final, if I put it here, actually, it will be more optimized because I have to go up anyways to be facing here. So, okay, I'm done with this. Uh, let's try to record. So first I need to go right, uh, pick this up. Um, put it here. So this cycle, while I wait, I'm going to go down. I'm gonna pick up this. I'm gonna do this. And just once or twice. I'm gonna do it twice for the hell of it. I'm gonna put it back here, then go up, pick up what's in here, bring it back down. Uh, do the roll, so probably I have to hit it one more time, and then bring it back up, and that should be it. Let's see if it works or not. It's boiling. Did I forget to do something here? Do I need to hit it one more time? Okay, now it's a mess, but uh, it was doing all right. Let's see, where were we? Uh, let's play again and at some time I will need to pause that looks okay is that boiled though it is boiled so I drop it here and what happened I forgot to pick it up I need to do one more bump why am I not being able to edit stop it be here okay that's a bit silly when you're stopping you should be able to edit the stuff in the moment instead of having to do that extra thing should be everything let's see Put the thing first, and the water boiling. Pick it up, drop it there. Yeah, it's working. So I, now I guess they will just complicate the recipes a little bit more. And I mean, the interesting thing would be to start optimizing, uh, like trying to do it with the less cycles possible, the less program size possible. It's pretty much a state machine. Uh, I don't remember the... Um, proper name for it. I used to know it when I was back in university. Now I have no clue. So recipe, I need to pick up flour, pick up thing, roll it, turn it into a dough, cut the mushroom, put the uh, cut mushroom there, add this stuff. Okay, so let's try that. Uh, first, I need this. Then I will need uh, this. And then I will need to roll. I think I need to have both items into the roll before I actually use it. Apply it twice and I will have the dough. And then I want to go here and get my mushrooms. Cut my mushrooms. And then I need the oven. And that's it. So oven here. Why, why is there a table available? Not doing anything with the table. Let's try it like this. Oh, I need an egg. Hold on. Hold on. Let me move this. Uh, here. 
It's like I need to put all the ingredients on the table and then put it into the oven. That's probably that's probably what it is. So let's try something else. Let's put the table this here, table there. Uh, here I want the milk, which I also need. And then the oven. Sounds legit. So I'm starting here. Let's try to do this. Uh, pick this. Put it here. Did I pick it up? No, I didn't. Uh, no. Fuck. Okay. That's... Oh. What? Why was it wiped out and then it reloads? It should just be showing the previous version. Anyways, whatever. Uh, I want to delete this. All of it. Because I didn't pick it up. I need to do bump to pick it up. And now it's the part that's a bit weird. Uh, oh, okay. On the recipe, if you hover there, it says both of them should be on the rolling station. So I need to go here, drop it, go up, pick it up, and drop it. Uh, hit it twice to do the dough. And not pick it up yet. Need to go here, get a mushroom, cut the mushroom, uh... Pick up the cut mushroom, go here, drop it here, uh, pick up the egg, put the egg on the table, go to the milk, pick up, put the milk on the table, uh, then go pick up the dough, pick up the dough, put the dough on the table, pick up whatever is here, put it on the oven, wait twice. And pick it up. And I don't know what to do with it. Do you have like an extra... How do you... Escape? Okay, escape works. Is there an extra... Yeah, I need to put it here. Okay, that was the missing step. Holy shit, how the hell do I go all the way to the end of the instructions? I guess through here. Okay. On here, I need to do this. And then go back up. And turn. I think I already turned. So let's just try to play this. Pick it up. Put it there. Mix. Okay, the dough seems to be correct. Okay, this is wrong. I, I guess I should put everything in the oven directly. Let's try to find that. Would be nice if you could like use your mouse wheel to scroll back and forward on these instructions because you want to go to the left or to the rightmost position and there's no easy way to go there. Arrow or WASD moves you on the map, not down here. Okay, now I'm adding tables instead of yeah. Uh, delete this. Because it's Z and V to go back and forward. Okay. What? Okay, that's not correct. Something is wrong here. Uh, clearly, I should not be putting things on the table. So let's go through here. I pick up the mushroom, put it there. I go down. And I shouldn't be putting it here. I should be going further down. So here should be... Uh, go here. Rotate. And push. Okay, and then delete that. Uh, delete that as well. Turn twice. Yeah, I should be going up like this. Turn. Now pick up the egg. Turn twice. One more time. This side. Bump. Remove that. Turn. Why does it turn and turn back? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, I want to pick up the milk, but that's not what it's doing. So delete this. Just turn, turn, pick up the milk. Uh, turn, 
turn turn twice so delete this uh delete the table as well because we're not working on the table anymore we're working on the oven directly i think actually i should probably yeah dough milk egg on the baking station after two weights, yeah. So yeah, I should have put in everything into the baking station. I don't know why they have this empty table available. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Anyways, let's keep going. I don't know why I'm going up. Picking up the... Yeah, I was trying to pick up the dough, but failed. So I should go one more item up this okay pick up the dough rotate go forward go forward go forward one more time rotate delete this use the oven instead delete what's afterwards don't need it wait two moments and i should have the quiche ready so i think we're done now Mix those, you have the hoe, cut the mushrooms, put it there, get the egg, put it there, the dough as well, wait, yeah, okay, it's done. Just like programming, it's more annoying to debug than to actually build. And then you can think of ways that you could optimize this to do like less rotations and stuff like that. Okay, let's try a peri peri chicken. The loop start robot in menu allows you to change where the program loops from. After the first loop, the program will continue from the loop start marker. Program A, B, C, D will play as A, B. Ah, okay. So you can, you only need to do like yeah, specific thing once and then loop the rest, not necessarily loop everything. Which could be useful to optimize some things. Let's take a look at our recipe. Chicken on cutting station, let's cut chicken. Okay, I only need one of that. Uh, a lemon on juicing with one action does the thing then I need to pick up uh, put all of these into the bowl to the bowling station wait twice and then I have the thing okay mm -hmm. Thinking if I should put the bowling here just to be closer. Um, pick up the thing, go cut it, pick up the lemon. Go squeeze it. Uh, then pick up the other thingy. Which is this, pick this. Put it there. I also need this. I will put all of these there and then collect the thingy and put it here. It's not very optimum, but it is what it is. Oh, and after doing this, I need to put like a final uh, thing. So I need like the output of this. Yeah, so not taking advantage of the thing that they told me about. I think I'll survive though. So pick up this. Cut. Pick it up. Put it here. Go down. Pick up a lemon. Squeeze the lemon. Pick up the lemon. Actually, I have probably to do one more thing. Like, uh, is to drop it, to squeeze it, and then to pick it up. I think that's the thing. 
Not sure if uh, on the knife it's the same or not, but anyways, put it on the bowl. Pick up this. Put it on the bowl. Pick up this. Put it on the bowl. And while I wait, I have to wait twice here. Hmm. Yeah, I think the optimization here is that you can you can use these two cycles to do like the next cut. Um, yeah, but I'm not gonna do that unless I have to. It's just gonna make things more complicated right now. And then pick this up. Go here. Hit it once. Um, pick it up. And then put it here. And then go back up. And that should be that. Okay. Yeah, seems to be doing alright. That there. Put the other one. Have the thing. I pick it up twice. Ah, okay, so that was that was not correct. Um how the hell do I go to the end of this? That's the hard part. See if I had the mouse scroll, that's my tendency is to scroll the mouse to go to the to the end of this. Uh but I have to Press V a lot, apparently. And now I'm lost what I was what I was supposed to do. I think here I I have one too many of these. I think that's it. Let's try this. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay, so some people have done it with a lot less cycles. They use those loops. Program size, mine is lower than usual. We don't know what the hell people are using there. Well, maybe to do the loops. That shouldn't take that much more space, though. Well, doesn't matter. Okay, Fried Rice. It's going to be the last one that we're going to do. Introducing the Railbot. That was a quick introduction. Um... Uh, it said nothing about it. Anyways, pick up water, boil it, cut the thing, cut the vegetables. Then put everything into the frying station. Okay. I don't know what the rail is. I assume it's a normal bot. Anyways, I'm going to put this here. While I wait, I can pick up this and the cutting station should be here. The vegetable station should be here and the place where I put everything on should be here. Uh, do I have everything I need? I think so. I'm missing this, and then I put the end result here. Okay, so if I start here, I rotate. I rotate, I pick this up, turn around, put it there, then go this side, pick this up, go down, cut it. Go. What? Why did it go up? I click it to go down. Why did it go up? Oh, I think it can slide. Is that the thing? Okay, this is really confusing now. So, uh, rotate, pick up the thing, 
rotate, drop it there, rotate, pick up the thing, and now I just want to rotate down. So I don't need this. I can just... Shit. Uh, delete. I wanted to hit V. So just slide, uh, do a bump. So I don't need this thing either. Uh, do a bump into the cut. So now the chicken leg is cut. Uh, do another uh, slide. Slid the wrong way though. I want to put the thing down. Why does it go? I don't understand why he only goes one way instead of the other one. Maybe like he only goes to the left. That should have been more ex explicit though. Like if that's the idea. Like how can I see help on what these movements are? Escape doesn't give me anything. This doesn't give me anything. Yes, I'm introducing the whale bot. Okay. And now I have to figure out what the hell it does. Right click, click on him. What does this do? Program link. No clue what it does. What about this? Oh, change the start loop. That's fine. Um, I don't need to change it. What does the R do? The menu? There's a menu. Ah, this menu. Right. Uh, over, I would expect to have the mouse over here give me information on how the rail bot is different from the normal bot. Same same thing as the other ones. Why do they exist? Why do, why do they give me a table if it's never used? Like, to put ingredients temporarily? Something like that? Okay, so let me let's try to figure out how to you know do the movement without doing the movement. So we're here. We rotate, pick it up, drop it there, rotate again, pick up the thing, slide down. Cut the thing. Now I wish to slide down again instead of up. I wish to slide down. How do I define that? Up goes up. This rotates and then slides back. What? I don't understand why sliding sometimes works properly and other times does not. So sliding back up works, but sliding down goes up. Why does it slide? I don't know. Why... On here, I could define that I wanted to slide this way, and now I can't. Now I deleted the wrong one. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Why does clicking R go there? That doesn't make any sense. Confirms action or selects item. Why would clicking R send you back to the loading menu? Hmm. Oh, now I have free rail bots. Which could be interesting, but... I mean, technically speaking, I could be putting like one rail bot doing this, the other one doing that. 
the other one doing the other thing, and then just everyone putting everything into the pot. Maybe that's the idea that they're they're going for. I have unlimited railbots. Mm, interesting. Uh, okay, let's try to explore that. I mean, hmm. I mean, I want to explore that, but at the same time, I want to understand why the hell the rotation isn't working as intended. So if I can't figure out the rotation, it's going to be a bit useless for me to uh, have a lot of them. Why isn't this rotating properly? That's what I would like to know. Or moving properly, actually. It rotates just fine, but when I want to move him from here to there... Like this... Like, if I click here, it should be sliding this way, not sliding up. It's exactly the same position, I just want to replicate this. And if I click this, he rotates... What the fuck? It should also be sliding, just the same as before. Like, I want to put two slides down. This would be a lot easier if I could input the thing without having to click here. I wonder if I click here. Is it... Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so the real bot slides, and to define where he goes, instead of clicking where you want him to go, you have to click on the thing he should be facing on. So that kind of worked. Okay, and then I hit it and put the thing there. Should have more instructions, though. So, okay. Um, I picked this up. I put it there. And then I ignored it completely. I will pick it up later. Then I picked up this. I cut it. I... Did I pick it up? I don't think I picked it up. I think I need to hit it again. I think I need to hit it again to pick it up. No? Or maybe it's already... Like holding. Let, let's test this and see if I'm putting it properly. Yeah, I need to click again to pick it up. So after I do this, I need to do another hit. And then I need to slide down, put things on the pot. And after I put things on the pot, I want to um, go there, I guess. So I rotate, go up, rotate, pick this, rotate, chop them. Pick them up, slide, put them here, uh, rotate, pick this, rotate, drop them here. Uh, don't forget the water. And then I have to wait twice. One, two, pick it up, put it here, and then go up and rotate properly. So I'm in the correct starting point I didn't pick that up apparently so the vegetables I picked them up I cut them I cut them twice it's it's oh it needs to be three times right even maybe like Extra one, like this. Let's see how that works. Okay. Yeah, that worked. There's one extra loop there that I could remove. Like, when I go up, I could already be rotated. If I just started uh, looking that way. Do we really care, though? That's like optimizing stuff. I mean, if you had, like, if you could compare high scores with your friend's scores, that could really make a difference. But comparing with everyone else, I'm like, okay, I know I can optimize, like, two steps. Do I really care? Make my program size slightly smaller, like 36 instead of 38? Not really. Oh, shit, someone used whole 46 slots to do the thing. Chicken mole. Or chicken mole. Whew. Recipes. Cut. Blend. 
Okay, I'm gonna try using multiple bots this time. And uh, that should do the trick. Tomato sauce, pick up the tomato sauce, put it here. So I'm gonna first do the cutting thing, which should be like here. Cutting thing, uh, chopping knife here, and put the thing here. No, no, this is the wrong one. Uh, I need to put it into the cooking boiling station, okay. Boiling station, all right. So one of the bots will be here. Uh, the other bot that needs to put something into the boiling station will be... Well, I already screwed up. I should move things down. So I have space to put something up here as well. Something like this will do. Um, I need to uh, get tomatoes, put them on the blending station. Tomatoes. Blending station. And then here. And then put some cycles of weight so it doesn't overloop against the other stuff. That's the problem when you start having multiple... Uh, multitasking. <laughs> when you start having multitasking you need to be wary of when one starts and when the other one uh, begins. So, if I have this robot cut this, it will take four instructions. If I have this one just do this, it will have uh, three instructions. Or, well, four, whatever. Um, and then when I put stuff in, this takes three. So, will it uh, wait enough time before I start putting stuff in again? So, I need to optimize that thing and that starts making everything even more chaotic than it already is. So I need to have attention uh, on that. Um, I need a pot. I need chocolate. And I need to put everything on the thing. So I, I think it sort of works with just one extra waiting step. And you like, uh, one of the robots takes uh, four months of time to put everything into the pot. And the other ones take about that time preparing things. And then we will have to fry this. And while we fry this, I guess the other ones can start putting stuff on this pot again. So it sort of works. We have to optimize it though. Let's see if we can make it work. Um, so I have the tomato soup. Where do I have the tomato soup? I have to ha have a place for the tomato soup. I thought it was straight into the pot. Uh, tomato sauce. Yeah, I put the tomato sauce straight into the pot. Okay, that's that's okay. So I have the pot. I'm missing the chocolate and I'm missing the broth. Okay, so chocolate, uh, broth, and then I will have to put that thingy into a frying pan of some sort. So I can't have anything here actually. Uh, chocolate. Uh, Where's the... Oh, it's here. Chocolate, broth. Um, put everything there. Wait three times. And then... Uh, then I put everything into the frying pan. From the frying pan... can do like this. Okay, so I'm going to have four robots overall. This is the second robot. This is the third robot. This is the fourth. So robot number one will just be chopping vegetables. I'm going to select him. He's going to start facing right to begin with. He's going to pick up a vegetable. Pick it up. Rotate. Chop it. Do it a couple more times, or rotate, dump it here. And then it's probably going to have to wait a little bit. I can also rotate him back here, because he will have to do that movement. Uh, okay, and that's it for this guy. The second robot needs to... He's already looking up, so he's good. He's going to pick up a tomato, rotate, put it on the blender, uh, wait. 
And then, does he need to pick it up? I think he needs to pick it up. Uh, rotate, put it here, and rotate twice to go back up. Okay, so pretty much the same number of uh, uh, things. That's good. Let's go on to the third robot, this little guy. He's going to start facing... Actually, he should be down here, I think. So I'm going to move him. Move him here, and he's going to start by picking up the broth. He's going to be facing this way. He's going to pick... Uh, need to edit. Yeah, okay. Pick this up. Rotate. Put it here. Uh, pick up this. Rotate. Put it here. And go back down. Face this. Okay, so slightly more than the other ones. Um, I think it's fine, though. I need to put, like, some do-nothing operations on these guys so they all match the length. But we'll see how that works in production. It's always the best uh, place to test things. So, number four, this little guy. He needs to pick up... Um... Oh, shit. I can't pick up. Uh, I need to be near this to be able to pick it up. So I need to move this thing. Uh, no. How do I move? Okay. Like this. So he needs to... Um, well, he can pick, up, pick this up. Put it here. That's going to waste him a little bit of time. Then rotate. Wait till this, this is done. And when this is done, he picks it up. Puts it here. And then goes here and drop it here. I think I could make this a little bit more optimized, like in the way the things are positioned. But I, I, I don't think I'm gonna bother. So pick this up, edit. There we go. Pick this up, rotate, go down, drop it, rotate up, uh, wait, wait. Uh, this is where they put the last stuff there. I need to wait one, two, three more. And now it should be done. Now I pick it up. Uh, rotate. Put it here. Wait one. Um, I, I, I guess I have to pick it up. Go here and drop it. And then rotate here for the next cycle to begin. So these are all the cycles. Now I need to figure out what needs to be like um, waiting time for things not to get piled up. Or if it even matters. I mean, if the program is running and things just accumulate on that given spot, it's relatively okay until it goes out of loop. Um, so we'll have to see. If, if it runs out of sync somewhere, and I think it will because they have different cycles here, um... If it goes out of sync, then we need to have like enough waiting operations to wait for the whole uh, sequence to be done with. So let's let's just play that out and see what happens. So, double use of station boil. Well, you're supposed to put everything into the boil. Oh, maybe they can't be putting it on at the same time like this. This is the problem probably. Yeah, they need, like, to wait one cycle or something. Like, if I go here, I do, like... Oh, you just wait a little bit. And this guy waits afterwards. Something like that. Now it should be fine, I think. Yeah. Okay, but eventually it goes. Okay, I'm gonna put some do-nothing cycles here. And here as well. And then see how things are doing. This guy only picked up chocolate. So that... Something was wrong there. Um, maybe didn't wait long enough. Maybe this waiting time is not over. Let's do it like step by step.
Oh, this guy picked up the tomato sauce by reasons. Oh, because he didn't finish the thing. Okay, so that's this guy needs one more action to do stuff there. So this is number one. Stop, go back to the edit. I think it needs one extra hit. That should be it. And delete one of these later ones. So let's try this. Okay, now it puts it there. Picks it up. Okay, that worked. Yeah, this is what you do. This is how you do multitasking. There's some idle time here that these robots are waiting that they could just be preparing the next one, the next wave of stuff. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, it can be optimized. Just um, don't really have the patience for that. Uh, but it's interesting that you can explore the different ways to do like a thing with multiple. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I like the game overall. I think it still needs a little bit more polishing before it's uh, ready. The tutorials were okay. I'm a bit skeptical if they will work, like if you're a teenager or something like that, that doesn't have patience to read through everything. Um, not sure how it would work. And uh, also if you're a person that doesn't understand instructions and laying down instructions at all, they might also not get um, the right idea. Although I guess you start so slow uh, that it, kind of helps and then there are a few things on the edit menu itself that i didn't really like much drone bug yeah whatever um like when you're switching between having uh, a list of instructions and having to play everything through you should be able to stop at that position and just edit it there at the moment what they're supposed to do instead of having to stop everything and go back that's a bit weird um drones this whole thing of having to select that you're going to edit mode is also a bit weird. You should be able to click like this person here and start putting the instructions immediately. Uh, which apparently you can, so my bad. And then you right click to get out. Okay, that's good. That's a good quality of life. Just testing things. Okay, so if we click this guy, nope, right click, okay, if you click on the instruction things, it goes there, but if you click on the menu itself, it doesn't, but okay, you, you figure that out eventually. Also, deleting thing, the scrolling not working is one of the things that really annoys me the most, because I'm used to using the mouse, whirl, mouse wheel to scroll back and forth in things, and uh, in this case, you can't. You have to actually figure out the command keys, which are Z and V, which is easy to get mistaken by the the arrow keys. So that's a bit weird in usability for me, at least. But other than that, I really liked it. Uh, the undo is interesting. You can't really see more than this, which is a strange. You should be able to like click and see the whole list. Um, not sure if you can undo stuff or not. Didn't quite understand what's this link thing. Oh yeah, I think I do know what link is. Like, uh, you give the same instruction to both. Um, you, ha you had a tutorial on that. I just didn't realize they were supposed to be linked. Maybe it was too subtle. And I didn't understand the difference between linked and unlinked. Yeah, I linked them and both of both of the drones will do the same thing. So if you do like a mirror kind of setting where one drone goes does this like route the other one does exactly the same thing but with different elements it makes sense to use the same code on both and then you're not using as much code so that kind of makes some sense um yeah that's that's my main uh things i didn't understand why clicking r here brings you back to the menu this doesn't make any sense don't know what's up with that and there is no real help uh, regarding different kind of drones. It would be nice to have like a glossary uh, that would explain how each one works. Also, sometimes it's hard to figure out if you should bump the table one more time to pick it up or not. 
like for cutting you just seem to do it like once but for other stuff you need to do it multiple times some of them have an asterisk telling you that others do not so it's pretty much trial and error would be nice if it was like more explicit either like here when you're over here hover over here it would tell you if you need to do the double bump or not something like that But yeah, that's that's pretty much my my things. Uh, but I will probably keep playing a few more times. You need to be in the right mindset to do this. You need to feel like programming stuff or optimizing stuff. And uh, for a computer programmer like myself, I, I if I want to do computer programming, I will do stuff that is like um, uh, what's the right word for it that was productive for me, so that I will actually get some stuff done, not just programming for fun. Still fun though. It was it was cute to to play this through and try different things. I think the more interesting aspect would be to like uh, optimize, but uh, optimize to be comparing the results with your friends, not necessarily everyone who ever played. So definitely a compare your stuff with your friends and be able to see the replay that your friends did um, or that other people did to like uh, optimize it further. You could learn a lot from that. I mean, if you could go here and you could see what other people did to have a uh, better well level three is not very good but for example level nine okay so if you could see here uh other people's stats how they managed to optimize this once you're done with the level of course like you did it and someone else did it with two less cycles something like that and you're curious how they could possibly have done that it would be educational for you to be able to see that at the same time it would also sort of be um, revealing the magic so you wouldn't really want to think how it's done so I don't know it's a bit it's a bit I have conflicting ideas over that anyways that was my let's play of uh, of uh, this little game neon noodles um hope you guys enjoyed i'm not sure how many levels it has and what the price point is on that um i don't know how to exit the game exit game okay i wanted to check the store page real quick before closing see how much it's paying for uh, 12.49, so it depends how much uh, levels it has. For 12.49, I would expect like at least 100 levels uh, to, to really make it uh, worth the money. But uh, considering all the, all the little things you can work on it, like you can try to optimize it for uh, size, you can try to optimize it for uh, the, um, the space that you use, if you put all those things into like different badges and things like that that you can compare against your friends with pretty much like uh the the that simulation tis that that game that is pretty famous for programming games i don't know if i have it here i know i have it on yeah i do have it here tis 100 is a good example of this kind of games where you are programming for fun you also optimize stuff and you can sort of compare your results uh with with other people so I think if you make this uh, interesting enough to the point that you can compare your results with your friends, I think you could you could really have something very interesting. It's also pretty cool for uh, people who are learning to get into programming. You get a little bit of the idea of the state machine or uh, what's it called? Uh, automata? I don't know the, the proper name for this kind of uh, programming. Babage? something like that it has a proper name i'm not recalling it right now but like when you do specific order by order steps of what you want to do um and it's interesting that they start putting multitasking into the into the whole thing so you have to also understand that things are happening at the same time in different places and you need to take that into account so uh that's that's pretty cool so yeah, definitely enjoyed the game. Thank you very much for the Steam Key. I'll probably play a few more levels of this. Um, but you will really have to open up for like comparing against levels of friends if you want me to spend a lot of hours optimizing stuff. 
Uh, but I guess it depends on the player. Some people are more OCD about those kind of things uh, than others. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.